We will now prepare the four financial statements referred to in this course. Please take out a scratch piece of paper and use the adjusted account balances on the following page to prepare a single step income statement. Here is a formatting hint. Put the name of the company at the top, specify that it's the income statement, specify the accounting period being reported on. Normally it's a year, but since this company started March 1st of X1, it will just be from March 1st X1 to December 31st X1. Then list all revenues and their balances and total them up. List all expenses and their balances and total them up. Take the total revenues less total expenses and you get net income. Also compute earnings per share, which will be net income divided by the thousand shares that are currently issued and outstanding. Here is the full adjusted trial balance. The accounts to be used in preparing the single step income statement are revenues and expenses. Good luck. This is the single step income statement. You title it with the name of the company, name the statement, income statement, you indicate the period. In this case, it's a brand new company which started on March 1st. Normally it would be for the year ended December 31st, but we only started in March, so that'll be our period. I know it's unusual, but I thought you'd at least want to see that. This is a single step income statement, and all we did is we took all the revenues, added them up to get total revenues, all the expenses, added them up to get total expenses, revenues, minus expenses gave us net income of 71,696. To get the earnings per share, we took that net income and divided by the number of shares issued and outstanding, which from prior videos you would know were a thousand shares issued and outstanding, which means each share effectively earned $71.70. Because the font in the video may be a little small, I broke this out into two pages just so you can see it a little bit better. There's the revenue part, and here's the expenses part. If you want to stop and look at those a little more closely, you're welcome to do that. The single step income statement makes no attempt to group revenues and expenses based on operating activities or other activities. They just lump all revenues together and lump all expenses together. Let's move on to the multi-step income statement. 